lay of the land, kind of where we're at. Donner Pass in the loft is going to be up over, over that way. Uh, we're 67 miles from the loft. On race day, they're coming from out, out that direction and then and then up flying up over the pass over there. Hey YouTube, how you doing? We are 67 miles from the loft. It's about 6.30. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the, the birds out. They've been sitting for about half hour. Um, they've gotta fly up that direction, so uh, we'll see how they do. Okay, home is out that way, up over, over the pass. Um, they've been sitting for quite a while, so they, they should have their bearings pretty good. Clear skies, it's been... Uh, it's been an hour and a half since we let them go. It's eight o'clock. It's kind of a jumbled mess of wires, but I've got Benzing live. This is my GPS. We've got the clock. Um, and I've got this battery supply just because I don't have power out here. But that's kind of the clocking system. Um, I should get notifications on my phone when I get birds. Um, and I expect them within the next half hour or so. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like eight birds. Maybe nine. All right, getting some more. Looks like three more. All right, guys, how you doing? I thought I'd show you Benzing Live, what it looks like uh, when I'm sitting at my desk or, you know, online. Um, these are my last three training tosses. I can click on my trainings down here. It'll pull up the training tosses where I've, I've been using the system. And there's been, uh, I don't know, five, it looks like, four or five. This one I went on this morning's here, Martis Creek Lake. It's a small lake uh, by Truckee. Um, but basically, I can... Find the liberation point on a map, and it will automatically give me the yards per minute and everything as the birds as the birds arrive. It's pretty uh, it's pretty slick. So I'm basically just zooming in here, finding the lake where I tossed them. That was right here. So we can hide the map. It automatically puts my latitude and longitude in there. I put my release time as 6.30 and then go back. So I've, I've got all 16 birds arrived. Luckily, I've got them, I got them all back. It was a, it was a good toss. Um, 8.16 was the first bird. Yards per minute's not real fast, but, but I'll take it. I got them all back. 8.16, and the, I did have one that was pretty late. But I like to keep track of my training tosses. I've showed you this before. Google Maps. Here's where we are. This was the toss, 60, whatever, eight, 69 miles, whatever it was. The blue line's gonna be my first race down to the loft. I did 18 tosses. Um, I'm, I'm happy with that. I did get them over, this is kind of Donner Pass here, those granite cliffs you saw in the video. I did get them over that, so that's happy. I'm happy about that, um, just so they won't experience the first time on race day. And the last thing I want to show you, Google Spreadsheets. These are all my training tosses. Being I only have uh, 16 birds, this isn't a big deal. But if you had a 50-bird team or a 60-bird team and you had to select whatever, 15 or 20 birds you were going to send to the race, 
this is kind of how I, I, I keep track of that. Um, it's basically the trapping order from the toss. It was only a 41 mile toss and I just had their trapping order. Uh, and then this column over here, I've added them all up. So my lowest uh, score, so the best birds as far as trapping is this 2830, a dark check white flight. Uh, this 2900 is a black one. Let's see, 22, 2282. This bird's another good bird. Um, red means they they came home a half hour late. Uh, yellow means 15 minutes late. All the other birds came within 15 minutes of each other and all these tosses. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Uh, I'll stay tuned to show you how, I, uh, how I'm going to prep the birds for this first race coming up a week from tomorrow. Take care.